The Blues were on the move today, looking to make sure they're not caught in any COVID drama in Sydney. They landed on the Gold Coast briefly before hurrying back to New South Wales in their Kingscliff base. The ever-present beatbox signalling this was their turn. And the coach set the tone for the week. They get a chance to really work hard together and they're going to have to improve a lot to beat us. Angus Crichton has been named on the bench. Dale Finucan is in the extended squad. Back-to-back -back games in Queensland give the Blues a chance to make history. Yeah, well, they haven't played two games in Queensland since 1982 to start a series, so um, it makes it exciting, makes it a great challenge. I think we've got a really good group here. It's a good footy team, without a doubt, and it's something they should aspire to. So uh, they didn't do it in 1982 in New South Wales. The 1982 side was led by Manly legend Max Krillich. Freddie said that a big motivation for this team is to make history. Yeah, well, it's about winning. Uh, history's good, but it's about winning. And the players want to win. Basically, that's what you're there for. That's what you play rugby league for, is about winning. Uh, if the history comes along with it, good luck to them. The Blues team have an Eagles great in the making in Tom Trebojevic. Do you think that one day he could be the best manly player? Oh, for sure. Whether he's going to overcome the great Bonzo, Fulton, he may be the better to play than Bose. It's hard to say. Um, you know, it's just, he's got, he's got to be longevity there, though. Yeah, you know, you've got to play for about 12 to 15 years. His longevity's not there at the moment, but if every year's going to be like this year, without injuries, he, he possibly will be the best player for Manly ever. In Kingscliff, Danny Weidler, Nine News. Rhys Walsh has only played seven games in the NRL, but Maroons coach Paul Green has seen enough to throw him into the state of origin fire. It's a big ask, but one that Queensland is confident the young fullback can handle. A selection shock that even Rhys Walsh himself struggled to believe. They think you gene him up, that it's not actually me ringing him, it's one of their mates. Uh, but yeah, he was. He didn't have a lot to say at the start. Unwanted by the Broncos, the 18-year-old will now carry the hopes of a state. Doesn't work out for everyone, but he's. I love watching him play. He's a real talent. He's handled every step up so far. Uh, he's a confident kid. He's physical enough. I've got confidence that he'll get the job done. While she's one of five changes for the Maroons, and he's not the only surprise, Andrew McCulloch will fill the void left by the injured Harry Grant. It's funny how things work out sometimes, but yeah, you know, I was just enjoying every game that I was playing for the Dragons, and yeah, look what happens. He'll return to the Origin Arena alongside his Dragons captain, Ben Hunt. Good luck. Thank you. After watching game one as 18th man, he's now been brought onto the bench. Just sitting there and not being able to you know, be a part of it and try and help your teammates out, it, it really hurts. And um, yeah, to watch that, to watch that game was pretty tough. So you know, I'm itching to get back in and turn that around. And the Sky Blues are out for revenge when they take on the Maroons in women's state of origin on Friday night. We have one chance to beat them, so we can't um, mess this up. Queensland claimed the shield in last year's standalone match and will start as favourites to do so again. Sam Jordan, Nine News.